My name is Francesco Cavalli. I'm 22 years old. I just finished my second year and I'm about to start my third year at the University of Wales, Trinity St. David in Swansea. I could say it's a family thing. Motorcycles have always been part of my family. Everyone has always owned motorcycles. And uh, unfortunately for my parents, I'm the one who loves the most races. I race in the Italian Super Sports Championship from the Augusta. And uh, I will be doing the British Super Bikes race in Aston in two weeks' time. And obviously I also race for the University of Wales, Trinity St. David in the Asia Formula 400 Championship. For a rider, it's a bit of an advantage when you are in the, in the lectures because many times uh, lectures will happen to uh, express uh, uh, behaviors of, of the bike, of the engine, of the dynamics of the bike. And as a rider, obviously you have lived those things in, as a first person, like on your skin, so you know what they're actually talking about. And it's easy to interpret and apply it in your, in your examples. And obviously you get a more technical uh, point of view of whatever happens. Like when the engine behaves in a certain way, you actually know what's happening and when the bike moves in a certain way, you know what's happening with the suspensions and with the flexibility of the chassis. And uh, many riders don't know these things, like many riders are convinced that what pushes the bike is simply a metal block that makes noise. Instead, when you comprehend all the mechanics behind it, it's, it helps a lot. I'm happy, I'm absolutely happy. The knowledge you get from the University of Wales Trinity St. David is excellent. I mean, the, the knowledge that the lecturers have is, you just can't find it anywhere else. The dynamics aspects are excellent. All about engines is, is just amazing. The management side also we're taught and is absolutely great. And I'm really happy. Like, I think it's, I wouldn't have never found a similar opportunity if I didn't come here. When Team E4 first started, uh, it was really hard. We, we didn't have much knowledge and we were just relying on what we thought we could do. And uh, the first year we struggled to finish the races, we struggled to go through weekends, and slowly we were taught things in university, and slowly we were applying these things onto the project. And uh, we started with a really basic bike, and now we have just an incredible bike with uh, components developed and built in-house by students, uh, with uh, technology applied by students, sponsored by external companies, uh, uh, interaction with uh, renowned tuners from around the world with uh, massive companies of the motorcycle engineering world and uh, so as I said we started without with struggling to finish races and now we're battling for the most important 400 championship in the country and uh, this is all thanks also to uh, the things we've been taught because uh, I mean if we weren't uh, taught the, all the knowledge about engines, about dynamics, uh, we wouldn't have known which way to go because uh, it was really hard at the beginning. And the things that we've been taught just guided us through this constant development and improvement. Well, we, we came here with the aim to win the championship. We were not that far. And by the end of yesterday, we got the gap much closer to the first leader of the championship. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't make it. It's, uh, there's not much we can do now, but we did second and uh, we proved how powerful our project is and uh, we're happy, that's what we wanted.